Let's go back to Almaty and Jason Quigley, our World Championship silver medalist, is now talking to Hugh Cowell. You gave it absolutely everything. I can't imagine how good you are right now. Uh, yesterday, words couldn't describe how I feel in a good way. Today is in a bad way. You know, give my whole life to the sport, and I don't want to go away and look at it. That I'm going to be absolutely honoured to be the first Irish man ever to get this far. But Jason, gave it absolutely everything, though. Yes, this is my job. This is my life. I just, it's everything I do, you know. You're a world silver medalist. Like you're still so young. There's so much to take positive from this job. I know it's not consolation to you now, but you can be so proud of yourself. Everything you've done. Whenever you're a boxer. You go to that ring defeated. You don't look at it that way for a few days, you know. So, Billy, what about this man? He's unbelievable. He gave it everything. I can't ask anymore. You know, it's like, you know, he's had five really, really tough contests throughout this competition, and his semi-final was a grueler. And to have to go back in less than 24 hours later to do it again, where his opponent had a uh, walkover yesterday. So that, that was a telling factor. I can see the fatigue in his punches today. It wasn't as sharp. But by God, did he leave everything? He went to the soles of his boots, you know, and uh, you can't hats off to him, you know, he's a true, a true legend. Thanks so much for everything. The championship's been unbelievable. Everything at home has been going nuts. Fantastic. Yeah, we're very proud of him. We're very, very honoured to represent our country, you know, and every time we're in there, we give everything for our country. and. But one suspects the wait may not be that long because uh, we've got silver and uh, there's definitely one or two out there that they can set their targets on World Championship gold at some stage. Uh, as we know, Jason wears his heart on his sleeve and you can see it once again in the interview there. Yeah, just a measure of the, the young man that he is. I mean, uh, he's got a silver medal, world silver medal, first time ever for Ireland. And he's so disappointed. You know, you, you, you normally you, you cry when you lose, but he's crying there and uh, when he's, he's really winning, you know, mm. with a, a silver medal. But it just goes to show uh, what it means to him. He, he eats and he sleeps and he lives uh, boxing. Uh, and his dad the same. I can imagine what that household is like. You get up in the morning, it's boxing. You go to bed at night, it's boxing and there's boxing gear thrown in the corner there's boxing <laughs> I can imagine you know the, you know his man trying to sort out things with the, his okay. room full of boxing gear but that's his life as he said that's what he does yeah final reaction from you Eric yeah it's just I'm, I'm so proud of him I really am and he should he should be very very proud of himself I know when he gets some time to reflect on it and all it's he, he, he's he's happy as it is but he you know he wants to win he likes mm -hmm. to win you know that's that's what he does but I've no doubt in my mind when he comes back and he watches the tapes and all he's going to want to improve he's only 22 he hasn't even reached his full potential he's after showing me a few gears there throughout that world championships that he can go into already so it's a great day for Irish boxing. It's a great day for Jason Quigley. Yeah, it certainly is a wonderful achievement for Jason Quigley. World Championship silver medalist. Came so close, but on the day just wasn't quite there. But uh, certainly he'll have other opportunities to win gold.